We're looking at installing and configuring Burp Suite to act as our client-side proxy while pen testing web applications. You can download Burp Suite from portswigger.net and it comes as a zip file. The contents of the zip file are a Java jar. To install it, create a program folder somewhere on the machine, such as this one that has been created here on the Windows XP box, and place the contents of the zip file inside. You can create a shortcut to the jar file on many systems and run it simply by double clicking. If not, the included suite.bat will start the program for you. It's convenient when creating the shortcut in Windows to go to properties and set a shortcut key such as control alt b so that you can start the program with that key combination instead of having to double click on a shortcut or on the executable. To configure Burp Suite, go to the proxy tab and options and note that Burp Suite listens on port 8080. Now we need to point Firefox at Burp Suite so that Firefox sends requests to Burp Suite and then Burp Suite talks to the website and then listens for the response and then sends the response back to Firefox. That way everything is running through Burp Suite. To do this, go to Tools, Options, Advanced, Network, Settings, and then set up manual price configuration for localhost 8080. You can also use a tool such as Proxy Selector to make this process easier. Once we have Firefox pointed at Burp Suite, we can go to the Intercept tab and turn the Intercept on. In this case, we have configured Burp Suite to only intercept requests if the URL is in target scope. What this means is, is on the target sitemap screen, we have to right click the item that we want to intercept and say add item to scope. In this case, it's already been added so the button currently would say remove. Go back to the proxy tab and the intercept sub tab, make sure that intercept is on. When we go back to looking at Matilda, if we refresh the site, we'll notice that Burp Suite blinks and the get request from Matilda has been caught by Burp Suite and is stuck. It won't move forward until we either forward it to the server or turn the intercept off. We can also simply drop the request. If we forward it, we wait for a response from the server which comes back to Burp Suite and it hasn't reached Firefox yet, it's stuck inside of Burp Suite. When we say forward, it'll forward the response back to Firefox which will display it on the page. This is very powerful because we can trap the request before it gets to the server and make any changes we want. We can also see all of the values that are normally difficult to see. For example, if we activate this page by looking up the tool Nexpose, we can tell that the request has lots of parameters in it that we can change. We've already passed any possible JavaScript validation, so it would be very easy to change those parameters at this time. Another thing we can do is use it to analyze the responses, which sometimes can be much more important. For example, this server's response doesn't contain any cache control and does contain server headers. Also, if we were to send information to the server, after changing it in the request, we can see how that affects the response. Having some type of a client-side proxy tool is a mandatory when pen testing applications because we need the ability to be able to see all the input parameters and change them to find out how that changes the response. And Burp Suite is definitely one of the best out there.